Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Massasoit Community College. Going good, Dave. Doing good. You know, we're here for some BCC basketball. BCC coming in this game. They had a tough loss over against Sullivan, but as I called it against the game uh, last time, it was a productive loss. It, they were against one of the top teams in the nation, and they had a, a lot of missing key players, but now a key player in the game now is Josh Winbush. Josh Winbush is back. That's great to see. We know Josh Winbush goes six foot seven from Louisiana, and um, he's a stud, no doubt about it. We're getting, out of here, we're getting underway here from Bishop Conley High School, the home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, right next, right next door to the BCC campus. There's Winbush right there from the top of the key, no good. And uh, tonight, Bristol Community College in action against Massasoit Community College, their rival from right down the street. Right down 24 is a three-pointer, that's no good, coming off. Loose ball. If you just tuning in. Massasoit with the ball right now in the dark green. First of Community College in the white with the, uh, with the green trimming. That, that, that shot was way off. And Zachary Vega with the look what I found rebound. Yeah, exactly. I think he was expecting that. Pushing the ball down court and getting deflected. Alexander Holloway, good job getting the arms extended. And they lose the basketball. BCC does a good job of doing that. They, get, they do a good job of getting their hands in the passing lane and seemingly always tipping passes and, and making things happen on the defensive end. They're active hands. Yeah, always heads up defense from the Bayhawks. No doubt about it. We talked about uh, Lou on the sideline again, patrolling in his ninth season as the BCC head coach. At the top of the key, next big, Vega going so hard to the basket. Got way off, both teams with ugly shots here at the beginning. And we got a quick foul off the gates. Foul is off number three, I believe Massasoit. It was off one of the number threes on the team. I believe Alexander Holloway, and it is. And BCC comes into this contest at 11 and four now. So. Really, 11 and four now. Yeah, 11, 11 and four. They lost, we know they lost last week to Sullivan in the game that we called last Thursday, the first game after the break. Driving to the hole and getting, it, getting the basket is number three, Rolski Edward. Alexander Holloway back at the point again for the Bayhawks. We saw him make his Bayhawks debut at the last home game. Not his best showing, but can only go up from here. Exactly, and there's a jumper. And it's good. And just as you say that, the jumper from the top of the key is good, and maybe. Maybe Holloway just needs to get his uh, feet underneath of him. He played over the weekend in the, um, in the uh, CCRI Invitational. And that must be where Bristol picked up two more losses. And they're going to count the basket. That drive by Mark Georges, sophomore, sophomore guard from Avon, Massachusetts. And the foul goes to Juan Espinal. It's his first of the game. Second for the Bayhawks so far in the early going. Well, we've seen a new, a new look type of Bayhawks team here in the second half. A couple different starters, like you said, Alexander Holloway and Espinol. Espinol, no good, can't make it. Loose ball on the floor. Six foot seven, Winbush picks it up. Drive to the back and it jams it home. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Josh Wimbush picks it up and decides he's going to take it all the way, and there is no one on the court who can stop him. Oh, that's for sure. Massasoit giving up some height today to the six foot seven Wimbush. Wimbush denies basketball and actually didn't touch it. It goes out of bounds on, on the Warriors. Warriors coming to today's game at 9-4. Nine 9-4 and four. Nine and four overall and 9-4 and four in, in the conference in Region 21. Like I said, these teams, you know, face each other. I've faced each other a lot over the years. 20, Route 24 rivals, Fall River and Brockton. Outside, Corey Green, shot clock winding down. 14 on the shot clock. Massasoya, 
stepping back in zone. Oh, stepping back is Holloway. Jumper is good. Now it took a while, but it still counts all the same. Went around the toilet bowl and got flushed. And Holloway has started off his night two for two from the, from the field. He's looking a lot more comfortable. The last game, you know, it was his first game with the team, so really now with the CCR Invitational, it might have given him a chance really to gel with his team better. He's looking a lot more fluid this game. That's for sure. And, and here he comes pushing the basketball up. Nice bounce pass to Espinola, drives to the hole and lays it in. What about Holloway? He's really going out of the gate strong. And he is the point guard, so he is the general out there, so. Yeah, it's his job to lead this offense. Yeah, he had to be able to fit in. Top of the key, three-pointer, no good. Missed by Edward. Long pass to Holloway. Holloway now looking to get rid of it. Holloway takes it back out. Holloway very methodical with the basketball so far. Yeah, Massasoit in zone. Spinole loses it. And BCC. And he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it in the backcourt. Yep. BCC kind of bunched up on offense. You see him kind of the front of the court, no one really down low. Eight to four, the Bayhawks lead. Welcome everybody to Bishop Conley High School. La France Gymnasium. Second half of the season. This is what it's all about here. As we get down the stretch, drive into the hole. Trying to find, trying to find the basket. Can't get it to go, but he'll draw the foul. Number three, Ralski Edouard. Yep, Edouard goes to the line. First foul from Zachary Vega in the game. I hope I'm saying his name right. E E D O U A R D. Ed Duard. Ed Duard. I'm going with Ed Duard. Makes the first free throw. Again, it's the Dream Team. AKA the. AKA the C Team. Our Cardoza, Craig, and Cabral on the fancy camera work. Great. Uh, national anthem sung by our own Lucy Cabral, who's on the camera today. Great job. Yeah, it's been quite a while since it's been just the three of us. A very talented Lucy Cabral. Yeah, it has. Jumper in the corner is no good by Provin. Tip uh. ball. Nice tip by Winwood. Steal it. Corey Green for three. Five. He's going to hit the top of the... Um, Shot clock there and go out of bounds. Number 14. Has this check into the ball game? Of course, he's not on our on our roster sheet, but that's that's commonplace. That's our we have our we always have our mystery player of the game. Yep, and right away he gets a turnover. He passes it out of bounds. That's where they try to screw, screw with us. Yeah, <laughs> Turns the ball over. Ugly basketball game so far, Craig. Eight to six, almost six minutes in. Not that much scoring. Mm. I think Joshua Winbush has a dunk, and Holloway has a couple jumpers. That's about it. Massasoit also not too impressive on offense, obviously, so far. No, no. I think they, they're, they're, being, they're being distracted, and they're being um, intimidated right now by Joshua Winbush's long presence. The height and the wingspan. He can block shots. Obviously, he's got the height, the height and the length. And speaking of height, Hakan Koban in the game now for the first time. He's getting some minutes now. We saw him. Uh, he had a good game the last time uh, we called together. He was our Bayhawks player of the game. Yeah, an excellent game as Winbush misses. Rebounded by Rolski. Edward all the way to the basket. Puts it above the glass and in. And he's looking like he is going to be this team's entire offense. Catches it at the top. Pounds his way in. Gets, gets collapsed on, and he got his stuff smacked. You don't see that too often. There you go. That was Mark Monroe, who's also six foot seven. So that's going to be quite a matchup. He doesn't look six foot seven. He, it does look like Wimbush has like an inch off, like an inch or two on him. He 
Definitely uh, built a little more burly than Wimbush, though. to eight, 14, 11 to play. Yeah, so BCC with those two losses over the weekend, that's tough. Massasoit is right there with them in the pursuit for the Region 21 crown. <laughs> and Luis Rosario, Dwayne Martin will come in for Corey Green and Josh Winbush, they'll step out. So. Damian, yeah, Damian Martin comes in for his former high school teammate, Hakan Kaban. Massasoit quickly collapsing on Kaban. Yeah, good defense. Good defense on the inbound by, by Massasoit. Hakan Kaban rolls that one out of bounds. This is an ugly game. Massasoit to inbound. Team, they go back out to Monroe. BCC and man to man. Right now they look scattered. Look kind of confused on the defensive end. It doesn't matter. Martin with the rebound. Martin picks up the dribble. Finds the cutting province to the lane, and he'll get fouled. Looks like he got fouled by Rolski Edwards. Actually, they'll call on number 11. They'll call it on. Ridge Francis, who just came into the game a little bit ago. Six foot three freshman. And Provis sinks the first lead throw to give BCC the lead. Caleb Provid in there, number 23 at the line, along with number two, Dwayne Martin. Number three, Alexander Holloway. And Hakan Koban and Luis Rosario. <laughs> Out there for BCC right now. Second free throw miss. Massasoit to push it up court. Oh, nice pass. Oh, but he couldn't hang on yeah, to it. Yeah, he couldn't hang on. It goes out of bounds. Mark Georges couldn't hang on to it. Mark Georges. Multiple Georges. Beats the press, beats the pressure, and another foul. A second foul, looks like it's going to be on. I think it was on 11, Ridge Francisque. Yeah, that was the second, and as many uh, trips up court. All the way with the basketball. Full shot clock. Yeah, Martin picked up his dribble too quick, put his foot down too quick. Yes, he did. That's a turnover. Nine to eight. Going cross court with it. Here's a drive to the hole. No good. Tipped. Rebound by Provid. Provid up to Martin. Martin doesn't have the numbers. Kicks it back up to Holloway. Holloway drives it to the hole and lays it in. Strong hit by Alexander Holloway. He's got six. Yeah, good showing so far from Holloway in this game. Yeah, very good. Very good without the basketball, too. Cut to the basket. Making about three. <laughs> Rayel Handy, thinking about three, gets fouled. Both teams with three team fouls. 11 to 8, BCC with the lead. And Corey Green will come in for Alexander Holloway. There's a three pointer, no good. Robin taking it into second gear, and he's going to get fouled on the drive. 14 foul by Massasoya. That foul on number 12, Rayel Handy. Oh, it's a good in. find. Oh, he got, he got elbow he like, a, like right on the neck. Hey, there he did. He got smashed by Monroe. Who's he think he is, Rob Gronkowski? <laughs> Takes it back. All he needs is an ombre. 
What, you mean the leg brace that he just wears on his arm? Oh, oh not a smart pass. Inbound pass. And the, on the other end, laying it in. Number five, Mark George. I believe the inbound, inbound pass was by Hakan, right? Um, I don't know. It might have been Provit. I didn't see. But. If it was Hakan, that, that was the second turnover on the inbound pass. They go inside and travel. BCC continually turned the ball over. They seemingly look out of sorts. Yeah, and Rob Delu is going to change up his line. Probably a good move. Probably definitely a good move. And he's got three of his good scorers coming in. Winbush, Zachary Baker, and Espinol. Caleb Provitt, Luis Rosario, and uh, Alexander Holloway will come out. I mean, Hakan Koban. BCC with that trap. Monroe to the basket. Gets it blocked by Winbush. Yeah, Winbush there. Espinol for the support. Zachary Baker on the pass to Winbush lays it in. 13 to 10, BCC. You have a feel BCC's going to pull away with this thing once they get it going. To me, they're clearly the more talented team. The kick back out, three point shot. Up, no good. Tipped in. Tipped in by number 12, Rayel Handy. And neither team so far has had success beyond the arc. No one's made a three pointer yet. Wimbush, the facilitator, losing the basketball, though. On the other end, Wimbush with the rebound. And Edward almost got a lucky basket. I didn't think he was going to score on that play, and he doesn't. Because he, he almost got it taken away from him. Yeah, he did. Almost, almost only counts with four shoes and hand grenades. Hmm. Three-point shot from Corey Green. Man, he a fire bucket from out there. And Corey Green, since we've seen him here in the second half, Craig, has been inconsistent shooting the basketball. Yeah, he went th I believe he went three from 11 from beyond the arc last game we called. And that's, that's unlike him. Now, he usually gets a consistent, you know, six for seven, somewhere around that area when he shoots out there. Yeah, 40 to 50 percent. Oh, nice pass inside the Monroe. Nice find. Pass by Giovanni Harper Lopez. That's Soy at their first lead of the game. I'm sorry, that pass was by Ray Alhandy. Martin, they jump it into Winbush, being double team. Winbush. Nice floater. A guy who's got soft touch around the basket. A nice move with the two former high school teammates. Yeah, the connection. They double team Winbush, but it doesn't matter. He jumps up and he's, got, I mean, he's just bigger than everybody else. Driving. Rolski rolls it in. Nice floater, soft touch. Gets it to drop it. This is a back and forth contest right now. 16 to 15. The Warriors actually have the lead. Wimbush sets the pick. Green getting into the lane. Oh, little little Euro step. Yeah, little Euro step. And they're going to call a jump ball, and they're actually it's actually going to be in the Warriors' possession. Nine forty-three to play here in the first half. From Bishop Collin, the France Gymnasium, here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Looking to trap over the timeline from Mass Soil. Quick ball movement in the corner. Three pointer is no good. It was wide open. Following his shot and laying it up, no good. Gets Gets his own his rebound, rebound again. again. Mark Georges. Mark Georges had the open three, missed it, followed the shot. Missed again, got his own rebound, gets fouled, and goes to the line for two. That's a great effort by that guy. to 15. Warriors got the lead. George strains the first free throw. Alex, Alexander Holloway will come in for Corey Green. Right now, Craig, I think BCC is suffering from a little bit of a chemistry issue. They had all the chemistry in the world, you know. And then, you know, you lose a couple guys. You know, they're still without, they're still without Marcus Mitchell and 
I don't see Marcus Mitchell, Stephen Torres, Quincy Pope. None of those guys are here. Yeah, Malik Muhammad Hester. You talk about Quincy Pope, one of the leaders. Sophomore leader, a captain on the team, not, not here. Provident for three, no good. Tip by Winbush back out to Dwayne Martin. New shot clock, new 30 second shot clock. Martin will take his time with it. Massasoit man to man. Yeah, BCC, they just might be in a little bit of a funk right now going into the second half. Curry Vega can't get it to drop. I'm sorry, Alexander Holloway. They get a similar haircut. <laughs> Vega's got a little bit more height. Yeah. They both got the left arm tattoos, too. In the corner, the three-point shot is good. That's the first three of the game for either side. Jared Costa Haywood for three. Nails it. And it's a 21 to 15 lead for the Warriors. A fancy bounce pass, Alexander Holloway. Yeah, nice little skip pass there by Holloway. <laughs> And then you incorporate a new point guard, a guy like Alexander Holloway, who's been the main ball handler, presumably their point guard right now going forward, and he hasn't been with the team. Wintbush, strong move. They're going to need that from him. Nice strong move around the basket by Wintbush. 21-17. to 17. Play a man to man, play a tough man to man. One shot floater, can't get it to go. That rebounded by Provit. He was able to come up with it. Going the other way. Oh, nice around the back. Behind the back. And he gets it to Winbush. That was nice. He's got skill. With all the guys that they're missing, Craig, I mean, you get Josh Winbush. Mm. With all the guys that they're missing, you still got Josh Wimbush and you know, I mean, guys that can score the basketball like Zachary Vega and Corey Green. So Wimbush is going to the line. I initially not called a shooting foul, but the refs changed their mind. Or actually, no, it's the, uh, it's the seventh team foul for the Warriors. That's what it is. Yeah, Wimbush, I, I didn't think he got fouled on the shot. I didn't think that was worth um, two free throws, but actually the Warriors are in the one and one right now. They're in the bonus. BCC's in the bonus right now. 17 fouls for the Warriors, so. Cool, calm, easy stroke. 21 to 18, 7.39 to play. Quiet, quiet game, quiet, quiet gym. Nice rotation. He gets a nice arc on that shot from the outside, the big man. Vega, guarding Edward. Guarding him closely. Time for BCC to turn up that defensive intensity. Shot clock. Another shot clock. Got to do something with it. Losing the ball. And they're going to say it's off. I think they're saying it's off Martin. They're either going to say it's off Martin or, Holiday, or Holloway. Either way, it's off BCC. There's two seconds on the shot clock. So Massasoit really just got to have a catch and shoot and hope for the best. Yeah, handy to inbound. That's all you can do right now. Going to try it. Going to toss it. Three-pointer in the corner. Rolls around. Oh, oh almost oh. had it. Tip up. And they're going to call the foul on the burly big man, Mark Monroe. Now they take the long road back to the other end of the court. Yep, and, and uh, Josh Winbush will step up to the free throw line. One on one situation. 18 fouls now for the Warriors. Glad to see somebody can hit free throws. 
Right now, Winbush is uh, three for three from the line right now. In the last game, everybody on both teams has had a really bad showcase from the, uh, the foul line. It was pathetic in four for four from the free throw line, from the free throw line of Josh Winbush. That's where you want to get the basketball team. Because you know he's going to draw the foul. You know they're going to have a tough time guarding him. Nice fake. Pounding his way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Shot was opened by Winbush. Looked out of bounds. They're going to say it's off profit. It is. I like this basketball. I, mean, I like this backcourt of the um, of the Warriors. Massasoya, Mark Georges, and Rolski Edwards. <laughs> Seem like two gritty players. Yeah, we've been seeing them majority of the time with the basketball. Yeah. Handy goes all the way strong. Again, tipped up again. It's like a volleyball game. Grab the basketball. Holloway. Holloway back with the ball in his hands. Coach Del Luke calls off a play from the sideline. Holloway back out. Vega slices. it. Dice it. Puts it up up and lays it in. Just a little bounce. Just a friendly hop. Just a friendly bounce. BCC taking back the lead. Looks to be one of those games. Yes. Back and forth. Oh, nice fake. Edward in the paint. Uses his body and gets to the free throw line. The Massasoit guards are doing a good job when they when they drive the lane up against Winbush, they're doing a good job of not getting their shot blocked to, whole, to all holy hell. Yeah, they're using pretty much the full extent of their arms, really, being able to stretch as far as possible to get around Winbush, because Winbush, he has such that long frame. He's tough to get around, but the Warriors doing a good job getting around him. And they're doing, yeah, they're doing a good job of drawing the fouls. The big man comes out, number four will come in, Jose Andre, six foot three freshman, will come in for Mark Monroe. That free throw was made. 23 to 23, both free throws made. 550 to play in the first half. That ball stolen. Going back the other way, Georges. Georges went up. I think Wimbush got a hand on it. He did. And that's going to be two on him. They're going right at the big man. No fear. That's what you got to do. Yeah, two quick uh, fouls off Josh Wimbush. Josh Wimbush always, always going up for the block. First free throw made by Georges. Giving Matt Sawyer the 24-23 uh, lead. And we get some substitutions. Number 15, Corey Green will come in. And Hakan Arda Koban, six foot six freshman from Istanbul, Turkey, will come in and uh, take the place of Joshua Winbush. Wish Winbush will take a seat with two fouls. And uh, you can expect to probably see him out for the rest of the first half. They can't afford to, they can't afford to lose him today. 25 to 23, free throws made by George. Oh, nice oh what a find. Kobal with nice hands and lays it in. This is like a completely different Alexander Holloway. Yeah, he looks, he looks much more composed and uh, He's showing great court vision. That was a great find following Hakan Koban under the basket. That's for sure. Nice, nice move there. And a pull. There's a put back there by number 23, Bobby Bellazo. Hey. Martin loses the basketball on the other end, but he was fouled by number 12, Rayel Handy. Koban improving his game. I like the hands there. Yeah, he recorded a double-double last home game we called. Yeah, and Coach Rob Delu. Gave him a nice little shout out on, on social media. I believe he was uh, their player of the game as well. Definitely their most active player. He was he was all up in the mix last Thursday night against Sullivan, the number eight team, the number eight team of the country. And he's being rewarded. He's getting a lot of key minutes now in this game, in this first half at least. And you need that going down the stretch. You need you like you like to have those two big men. You know. <laughs> have those two guys at the court at the same time. But driving all the way to the basket. And they're going to call. I don't know what they're calling. I'm not 
I thought it was initially a foul. I thought they might have called it on Vega because you heard the smack, but that was him all on the backboard. But they were saying it's BCC ball, but it's not a foul on the Warriors because then the uh, BCC, they'd be going to the line. Vega lays that in. Nice turnaround. Nice turnaround little floater there. Massa Sawyer up one. Not a lot of scoring, 29 to 28. Modest scoring. Both teams not shooting great for the field. Going, to, going up with it. Offensive they foul. Are they going to call it offensive? So Colin Coban doing a good job planting his feet and taking the foul. But Hakan Coban does the dirty work. Everything of what he does might not show up in the stat sheet, but he's one of those guys you don't want to go up against. It doesn't all look it doesn't always all look pretty. Oh, that ball stolen by George. It goes to goes. Oh, and the miss jam. Welcome to Sports Center's Not Top Ten. Oh. <laughs> oh my man, Mark George is with no one on him all the time in the world. Easiest buckets of his life, the so, Miss Jam. Sometimes it's not better to always go for the uh, the highlight reel jam, and sometimes it's better just to lay it in. And especially with the game this close right now. Sure, it's early in the going, but still. Inbound to the basketball, Bellazos somehow ends up with it and lays it in. He inbounds the basketball. The ball is loose. He comes in and lays it in. Crossing over. Holloway using his body. And he'll go to the line for two. And that, that ball is going to be a number four. Freshman uh, forward, Jose Andre. Good. Well, second free throw was good. Both free throws are good. Where's my head at? <laughs> 31 to, help me out, Craig. 31 to 30. <laughs> that actually gives Holloway 10 points. He has a third of this team's points. And another one of the thirds goes to Josh Winbush. They both have 10, respectively. Pretty darn good. 15 on the shot clock. BCC playing textbook D right now. Driving and losing the basketball, and they're going to say it's tipped by either Provitt or Holloway. Yeah, they're going to say it's off BCC. Seven on the shot clock. Got to put it up. Nice bounce pass. Late drops it off to number 23, Bellazo. Pass from Costa Hayward. Nice pass on the drive. Robert to Coban. And he's going to get fouled. Yeah, he'll go to the line. And this is something that Coban also did a really good job in the last game we called. He was a good job getting down low and getting fouled and had pretty good success from the foul line, all things considered, for the game. Yeah, he's a big man. He's going to get fouled. Just take the ball to the basket and just be aggressive. These little guys, are going to, they're going to smack your wrist. They're going to foul you. They're going to hack you. They can't guard you. Doesn't always, like I said, doesn't always look pretty with Coban, but he, uh, he gets the job done. First free throw missed. guy's only like, you know, half a season, half a season into his uh, freshman, freshman year coming over from Istanbul, Turkey. Let's see how he is at the end of February when the games really matter. Mm. 33 to 31. Three point shot. It's good by Eduardo. Roski Eduardo for three. 36 to 31, Warriors have the lead. Vega for three, no good. 
He got strip picks up it though. Ball all over the place. On the shot clock. Alexander Holloway telling his team to chill out. So I mean, Holloway sees more poise in this game. Taking his time. Eight on the shot clock. Looking to create something, but he just as I say, oh, tipped away, he has it though. I tell you right now, man, that ball is bouncing around like a ping pong ball. <laughs> It's like a bar of soap. It's getting kicked around. It's, it's, it's a, there's a loose ball. It's, it's changing hands. It's hard, it's right now, it's hard to keep up. Let's start pounding that coffee. Provis, that's a big three. And he got fouled. Stupid foul there by um, Jared Costa Hayward. And Caleb Provis will go to the line for three. That's 10 team fouls on the Warriors. 2-19 to play here in, in the first half. Don't go away. This is going to be a barn burner. Slobber knocker. And Provin will sink the first one. Provin sets, shoots. Second free throw is good. You may do something that no BCC player has done all year, hit three free throws in a row. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Winbush hit four, but it was in two separate. Two, separate two instances, yeah. yeah. exactly. Probably hits all three free throws easily. And it is a two-point game. BCC right now in zone. In the corner, Bellazo going baseline. Oh, I don't know how we got that pass. He has the ball again. Yeah. Eight on the shot clock. Bellazo gets it down. Hayward, they're going to shoot. Oh. Here comes Martin. Buzzing like a bee. Provit, strong move off the glass and in. Way to use the glass from that angle. And just no defense on Caleb Provit. He just no. broke them. Yeah, he did. Caleb Provit, underrated player on this team. He's fast. Three pointer by Rolski. It's good. Rolski Eduardo for the trifecta. And it's 39 to 36. Bigger on the wing. Cross score pass the province. Ooh, that ball stolen. Is he going to go for the jam? Can he duck it this time? Nope. He, he learned his lesson. There He's just going to lay it in. <laughs> just going to lay it in. Oh, what a fun. Rosario gets it blocked. Robert spinning. And it travels. That's what I mean. The ball, the ball is changing hands too much. So frequent, too frequent. BCC back to zone. Edward Warren. The basketball swings it. Cross court pass. Hayward for three. No good. Rebounded by Zachary Vega. Vega pushing all the way up court and easily lays it in with the left hand. Beautiful, beautiful. 41 to 38. Shot clock is off. Massasoit looking to hold for the last shot. Showing who's boss, directing traffic. It's been all him this game. He is one of the leading scorers on this Massasoit team right now. He most definitely is. Hayward gets double team. They gotta shoot it. Georges puts it up at the corner. No good. And that's gonna be the end of the first half. All right, you're watching Bayhawks basketball as we uh, reside here at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. It's Cardoza and the Cowboy, along with Cabral. 41 to 38, Bayhawks down by three. But we have a whole second half, and this game has been a, it's been a whole lot of lead changes, a lot of turnovers. But um, yeah, the ball like just changing hands and a lot of loose balls, a lot of fouls, a lot of ugly play, but you know, we'll see what happens here in the second half. All right, so yeah, join us. Don't go away. Come back for a second half action 
You're watching Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. Don't go away. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Colony High School in here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Welcome back, everybody, to FR Media. I'm David Cardoso alongside me. It's a phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, Craig Salvador. Craig, close to a staff, 41 to 38, between the two um, Route 24 rivals. Massasoit Community College Warriors coming in here, and they have the lead over BCC. Massasoit currently, yeah, like you said, had the lead. BCC's right up there, too. They currently have two guys right now leading the way. They have Alexander Holloway with 10. Josh Wimbush also has 10. Holloway having a much better game this game than he did in his Bayhawks debut. Yeah, Zachary, looks, much, looks much more poised. Yeah, exactly. Zachary Vega is right behind them. He has eight points. He's leading in rebounds. He has five. Uh, Caleb Provitt with six. Caleb Provitt doing the best from the foul line. He's four for five. Um... Josh Winbush actually also with four for four. So right now, again, kind of spread out. BCC looking to continue their ways and try to take the lead here in the second half and try to win this. Yeah, much more balanced attack, a, a balanced attack by BCC right now, but who's going to emerge? We expect that Joshua Winbush will emerge and be that guy. I mean, the guy has been the top scorer, top player all year. He scored 39 Defense! points in one game a few, a few weeks ago before the break. As uh, the Warriors turn the ball over there as they get possession and turn the ball over. Again, want to welcome in everybody who's watching here on FR Media, channel 95 in your dials. Channel 95 in your dials on Comcast. Thank you for watching Bayhawk basketball this year. Another good BCC team, 11 and 4. On a little bit of a losing streak, but here's Juan Espinal, 3 on 1. Got the numbers, the dish from Espinal to Vega who drops it in. Didn't want, didn't want to try the jam there. No, we saw him try that earlier in the season. Wasn't working out too well for him. As far as I know, he's on a, 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 miss, a miss jam streak. I haven't seen him hit a dunk. I haven't seen him too much either. <laughs> it's been a while. Mm. Here's Rolski Eduard. Yeah, nice bounce by, oh, hit that ball tonight by, by Winbush. Up to Corey Vega. BCC moving the basketball. Vega for three, bangs it home. Beautiful ball work. And a nice shot there by Vega for three. BCC comes out gunning. 43 to 41. And that's the first BCC three of the game. They had gone 0 for three in the first half. Zachary Vega hits the first one. Zachary Vega, one of the stalwarts for this BCC team. Driving to the basket, Pelazo kicks it back out in the corner, no good. Hayward missed it, tipped up. Monroe tried to tip it, couldn't get it. Vega looks up. Espinol back out to CG3. CG3 working his way into the lane. Ugly shot there, rebounded by Monroe. playing more zone than we've seen from them in the past. Yeah, you usually see him constantly do a full court oh. press. Alexander Holloway, sneaky move. Yeah, Monroe held on to that too long. Nice pass by Vega, the way by Alexander Holloway. And count it, because he's going to the line for the three-point play. Yes, sir, he is. 45 to 41. Nice pass there by Vega. Didn't know you had it in you. We talked about the chemistry on this team. We saw Holloway do that earlier. Now Vega returning the favor with the behind-the-back pass. And that's what you like to see. I think BCC is going to get used to playing with this new um, combination of players. As Holloway, as Holloway completes the, the, the old-fashioned three-point play, giving his team a 46-41 lead. Corner shot by Belazos. Can't get it to go. Espinol. Ooh, they're going to call a foul on Monroe. Monroe looked like he went for that ball and looked like he was trying to stay away from Espinol, but he hit him with that elbow again. <laughs> that lethal elbow. It should be thrown out of here. It should be banned that move. It's not the people's elbow. No. Definitely not. Driving is Holloway. And gets that ball deflected out of bounds by Mark Georges. And we're just we're just uh, scratching the surface here on the second half. 46 to 41. BCC erased a three-point lead by Massasoit. Get it inside. Winbush again. Oh, it's so good. So good around the basket. Nice touch. 
printed round over Monroe. And a good find by Alexander Holloway. He thought about putting up a three as soon as he got the ball, but he held on to it for a little bit longer and did the smart play and gave it to Winbush, who was right there to get the two. And Winbush, and Winbush looking to take this game to another level here in the second half. They'll need it. Corner shot, Rols Rolski, no good. Losing it. Ed Edward. Followed his own shot, couldn't get it to go. And Espinal gonna lose it as quickly as he got it. That's what I mean. The ball has been changing hands so quickly. Turn, turnovers and whatever the case may be. There's another one, Espinal diving on top of it. That's what I mean. Neither team can hold on to the freaking basketball. Coffee's kicking in, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Double shot of espresso. McDonald's hot coffee. <laughs> Horrible service. Anyway. Oh, they got those new, like, self-serve uh, things at, like, self-serve registers at certain ones. Yeah, not in the drive-thru. Yeah, not in the drive-thru. I can't get that too high-tech. Vega, deep three from the top. It's good! Vega turning into a three-point shooter. We've seen him selectively throughout the season. That's his third attempt, two for three from beyond the arc. Bang, bang! PCC, a 13-0 run. Here to start the second half. Driving, Edward loses the basketball. No. Nope. Matt Sawyer has all of a sudden turned stupid. Oh, Vega tried the no-look pass, but he did not see Mark George's. Oh, nice pass by Edward to stop the run. And Zachary Vega just trying to get a little too fancy there. And BCC, and I can see Rob, Coach Rob Dell lose frustration. BCC is going to take it to the basketball and lose it. 51 to 43, we'll keep it right here. 15, 15, 54 to play here in the game, in the second half. So BCC trailed 41 to 38, if you just joined us at the half. And uh, BCC came out running and gunning, came out to uh, score 13 consecutive points, and that's why they have an eight point lead. They're in a, currently on a 13 to two run. And the Warriors have two team fouls right off the gate as well. So BCC in the driver's seat, a lot of time to play though. So I don't want to say the driver's seat, but BCC playing a lot better, playing with a lot more continu continuity, turning, um, you know, turning their defense into offense really quickly. That's a, that's when BCC is playing at their best, when they're when they don't have to settle, you know, for half court, um, half court possessions. When they're playing, when they're playing on the fast break, guys are getting out on the break and. They're moving the basketball. Winbush kicks it back out. Fall away jumper by Vegas, no good. Rebounded by Eduard. Gets it to his backcourt teammate there. Number 12, Rayal Handy. Three pointers, no good. Yep. Rebounded by Winbush. Winbush gets the basketball. Can't get it to go. And they're going to call a foul, I believe. What I'm trying to say is BCC, their strength isn't being in the, in the half court set. Their, their strength is getting out on the break, getting, getting uh, forcing turnovers and getting out on the break, and that ball constantly moving. The fluidity, not, sometimes they can get a little stagnant when they have to be in a half court, when they have to be in a half court set. Handy with the basketball, gives it to Edouard. BCC with that active zone now. In the corner, Bellas gets Tipped a Tipped up. Yeah, he had a block. Edouard for three. And the Warriors can't buy a bucket from the outside now. Oh, nice play. Nice play by Vega. Saved that basketball and threw it off of Monroe's leg. Heads up play there by Vega. If you want to catch up on the season, you can watch these BCC basketball games on our YouTube channel. Dump it in, nice pass by Espinal. Oh, the flip from Winbush to Vega is good. Vega lays it in, nice pass from Winbush. Good teamwork there. Nice unselfish play there by the big man. Handy, nice left-handed pass to Monroe. 
who lays it in. Nice soft hands there. Deflection. It's another turnover. Yeah. Forced him to travel, though. We saw Zachary Vega playing his feet. He was ready to take the charge. I think that kind of scared the Massasoit player. He tried to slow himself up, but just could not. And Zachary Vega, does, he does a good job at uh, getting himself in position to take those charges. Not afraid to take them either. Well, dump it into the big man. Wimbush finds a cutting Provitt. It's good. Laying it in, Caleb Provitt. And Josh Wimbush is drawing those double teams, and he's fine to the open man once he gets collapsed on. Nice pass by Handy. Gets it inside to Monroe. to lay it up and in. Draws the foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. Warriors staying in this game. That was on Zachary Vega. It's either his second or third of the game. Yeah, it's his second. First team foul for PCC in this half. 57 to 48 now. So three point play finished by Mark Monroe. Matt Soy appears to be a man to man now. Holloway back up to Green. That's his spot. Three pointer is good. CG three for three. That's what he needs to get going. Oh, nice bounce pass to a cutting, to a cutting Edward, I'm sorry, Mark Georges. That's a serious player. They move well without the basketball, constantly cutting, darting to the basket. Yeah, we've been seeing the majority of their points been from plays just like that. BCC starting to pick up on it, though, but uh, two quick fouls from Zachary Vega now. Yeah, they're guards. Once they... Once they pass the basketball off, they're moving, they're motioning, and they're they're cutting to the basket, and they find they find each other. And you can see the nice passes by Handy and and by Edward. These guys, these guys are slashing to the basket, trying to make things happen. That's how you get an off. That's how you get a half court offense going. Guys that keep moving. You can't stay stagnant. You can't be tossing the tossing the ball around the perimeter. You get to get something going to the basket and find guys back to a cut in and cut into the basket. Second free throw is good, 60 to 49. A lot of time left to play in this one. 11 point lead for BCC. Also a great start here in the second half. See Hakan Goban in now for Zachary Vega after the two quick fouls from Vega. And Martin's gonna get fouled. Freshman Bobby Bellazos. All right, 20 second timeout on the court. 60 to 49, 1302 left to play. BCC has the lead. We'll be right back, right after this. Bishop Conley High School here in good old Fall River, Massachusetts. Home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and Carver tosses that ball right into, the, right into the jaws of the Sharks, of the Warriors, I should say. Laying that one up and in was Edward on the fast break, 60 to 51. Rimbush comes up and catches it high. Martin goes baseline, gets it blocked by Monroe. He was able to catch it. Martin did not have the oh, height nice on that play. Oh, by Wimbush, finding Hokan Kaban. Josh Wimbush has been an assist machine so far in the second half. He's very good with the basketball in his hands. Good passer from out there, or from anywhere. I mean, he's been 
Berry gets a deep three by Handy. Not Handy enough. Martin pushes it up. Corey Green to Winbush. Nice pass. Oh, but Coban couldn't catch that one. Going the other way is Georges. Georges and, and Edward, those two together, that combination. Yeah, Georges, Edward, and Handy leading the charge in this game for the Warriors. Exactly. It looks like they just feed off each other. They find each other cutting to the basket. They're, they're getting each other's rebounds, getting their own rebounds. They're always just so quick to those 50-50 balls, too. They're just they're lightning quick pushing the ball up the court. Josh Winbush and uh, Corey Green will come out of the game. Winbush just does everything well. Definitely from an offensive standpoint. The guy can come out and he's always looking to he's always looking to pass the ball. When you get that big man coming out, the attention that he attracts, and then you got Hakan Koban and his six foot six stature going underneath. I like that play from Winbush to uh, the pass to Koban. Warriors to inbound, but might need their own basket. 11 point lead for the Bayhawks. In the corner, Edward for three, no good. Oh, Provin almost came up with it. Almost came up with it, but you know, the BCC, there's, there's been a lot of tip balls. Like instead of somebody grabbing it, they're tipping it, tipping it, tipping it. Get up and grab that sucker. Mm. Edward, nice fake. Ooh, breaking ankles and Ooh. the jumper is good, boy. Looking like Kobe on that. Rolski, Edward, nice jumper there from the corner. Kaban catches up at the free throw line. Robert gets his defender in the air. Martin in the corner. No good, air ball. Oh, nice pass. There it is to George's on the pass from Handy. Now that was Handy, that was a good pass. That was so quick, he got that ball out so quick. Full timeout. And, and BCC's gonna call a timeout here. Wasn't that just a great play by Handy? As soon as he gets the ball, he just flung it out into the front court and um, and Mark George is just off to the races, landing in for easy two. Yes, exactly. As soon as he's seen that ball fly from Handy's hands, I mean, he just flew out and got it faster than anybody. And it's a seven point lead. 11 11, make a wish. 62 to 55. BCC has the lead, but the Warriors are on the comeback trail. We'll be right back. Massachusetts. The site is Bishop Conley High School, the France Gymnasium. You're watching Bay Bayhawks men's basketball as the Bay Bayhawks men's basketball team taking on Massasoit Community College, the Warriors. Both teams in the top half of Region 21 of the NJCAA. New England region of Region 21. Akai Coban catches the ball at the elbow. Big drives the hole and lays it in. Nice play there. Nice take there by Hakan Kaban. I like to see him get a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end, and there you go. Ball going around the perimeter. Moving that Bayhawk zone. 13 on the shot clock, zone working good. Handy. Driving, Georgia strong, trying to get it to, to Monroe, but Vega stole it. Vega cross court. Ooh. Yeah, risky play. There. Yeah. 
Well, the Bayhawks with the shot clock starting to wind down. Yeah, sure, Basquoia in a tough zone. Philbon gonna have to be the man. And he does not get fouled on the play. George is so dangerous. Once he gets ahead of steam going in the open floor, darting to the basket, no fear, draws the foul. Both teams have 14 fouls, Craig, 64 to 55. Is the score. Nine point lead. Now an eight point lead, just under 10 minutes to play. Dwayne Martin will come out for the Bayhawks. Corey Green. Number 15 will come in for the Bayhawks, and now second year, second year man, Luis Rosario, the veteran, will come in for Caleb Provence. So number 20, Luis Rosario in the game with number 24, Hokan Caban. Zachary Vega in there with number 15, Corey Green. And number three, Alexander Holloway, who has the basketball right now. Both free throws sunk by George's seven point lead. Vega thought about it and he traveled. Didn't put the ball to the floor quick enough. Moving those feet and traveling. 64 to 57, that's a tough turnover right there. The Warriors are gaining a lot of momentum right now. Rolston handed. Gonna like this three guard set. They give them size. Back out. Oh, how did that get there? Oh, drive it to the. I have the no idea how George is able to come how up with that. Get that, Edward. Wow. Five point lead. Good find. Good patience from Azario. who gets fouled on the play. Yeah. I like how he gave a little head fake there. Did he go up with it right away? hesitation and he'll draw the foul so that was a nice nice heady play there by Rosario 64 to 59 and BCC started this half off trade with a 13 to no run and looks like they had a comfortable lead by double figures and you know what now they're only up by six the Warriors have, have, uh, have eased themselves right back into this thing Rosario can't make the second one, but Winbush is there, and this is this could turn into a five-point play. Rosario hit the front end of a one-and-one, one, I mean of a, of a two-shot foul, I'm sorry. He misses the second one, Winbush, Winbush gets the rebound, puts it back in, and now he has a chance at a three-point play. I'm sorry, this could be a four-point possession for BCC. And Wimbush continues to stroke it yeah, from the free throw line. Perfect from the line so far. Five for five. Possession ball game. Winbush catches it. And it's just like a man, he's just a man amongst boys right now. I don't see why you just don't give it to him right there all the time and let him do what he wants with it. Yeah. He can't be stopped. Nice deflection there by Winbush. To get in front of 
Monroe and try to get it inside of Monroe. But Winbush doing an overall good job on him. Eight and a half minutes to play. Long pass that. on the drive there. First of the game, this puts the Warriors now in the bonus, one and one. Gonna shoot one and one from here on out. Or after this. No, they gave the, they gave the team foul, they gave the wrong team foul, I thought. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, I think they screwed up. Yeah, they did, they, they took it back. Yeah. Three point shot by Roski Eduard, no good. Loose ball. And the Warriors will end up back with it. And it's going to stay right here. It's going to be off BCC. Yeah, so the Warriors still with 16 fouls. So BCC not quite in the bonus yet. BCC has five team fouls. Both teams not in the bonus yet. We have almost eight minutes to play. On the drive, Edward gets it blocked by Winbush. Baker with the basketball in the open court, going all the way to the hole and lays it in. And BCC, just like that, back up 10. Drive it to the hole. Handy with the floater, no good. Rebounded by Vega. Vega almost stripped, but he hangs on to it. Nice oh, pass to nice Winbush. Dish. And Winbush can't drop the diamond. And Winbush is hurt at the other end. Yeah, yeah, Mark. yeah Winbush is on the other end. And, uh, BCC causes a foul. Sure, exactly. Uh. Well, he was going in for the layup. Might have just landed awkwardly on one of his legs. I remember in the first half, when Bush had leg problems at some point during the season. Yeah, we, yeah we've seen this before. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Hope the kid's all right. Got a bright future. You never want to see anybody hurt in the first place. And He's up on his own power, so that's a good sign. Yeah, might have might have tweaked a knee or an ankle or something. Yeah, walking out the court on his own. Okay, might just be shaking up. Just gotta stretch that leg out. Yeah. You know, sometimes it can be scary, especially that injury to your knee or your leg or something like that. You know, you're scared to bend it. You're scared to get up. Okay, hopefully get back in the ball game. Okan Koban is in. 72 to 62, BCC has the lead. Warriors, Warriors, um, they closed the gap. You know, they got to within five, but that's as close as they came. Yeah, it seems as soon as Warriors started coming back, BCC, some key possessions, started to run up the score a little bit more, and again, they've been maintaining pretty much throughout the Throughout this entire half, it's a 10 point lead. Yeah. Yeah, key possession. That one key possession when Rosario went to the line, hit the first free throw, missed the second, and then Josh Windsor followed up with a basket. And uh, subsequently, the, uh, had a three point play, and that was a four point turnaround right there to put BC back up by nine. You know, you can't give up four point possessions <laughs> like that. But there's a lot of time left to play in this game. Monroe hit the first free throw. And the second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Coban. Pushed by Alexander Holloway. Out on the wing. Vega. Nine point lead. Coming up on seven minutes to play. Shot clock winding down, 13. Coban hits it at the free throw line. Trying to muscle his way in, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Coban. Coban likes to use that hand when he's driving to the hole. He likes to use that hand like he's like he's Gronk, like he's trying to like stiff arm people. <laughs> Juan Espinal coming in for Luis Rosario. Luis Rosario, a little bit of a limp going on. Speaking of Espinal, where's Espinal been? He started the game 
We haven't really seen him that much at the very beginning. Uh, he's been in and out. I think he's just been kind of quiet this game. Around the perimeter. Bellazos in the corner brings it back out. 13 on the shot clock. That zone frustrating the Warriors. They got to shoot it. Roski's going to need to pull it. Jumper from deep, way off. Tip. Rebounded by Coban. Gets it up to Espinol. All the way slowing the pace now. Holding the basketball is Holloway. He's a key possession. You don't need to be in a fury. Coban, back out. Holloway for the jumper. It's good. I like the stroke by Holloway. He's picking his spots. And he's hitting his open and he's hitting the open shots. Yeah, he's having a very good end from all ends. He's got most assists so far right now and really doing a good job scoring as well. And he faked a three. The floater is no good. Vega all over the board. And Vega also having a very good game as well. How many boards does he have? Vega, I think he's that's at least his tenth or his ninth. And Espinol travel. Yeah, Vega has ten rebounds, so once again it's another double double for Zachary Vega. Twenty points, ten rebounds. With 547 still in the game, so he could have a lot more. That's what I mean. Zachary Vega, you know, we, we talk about all these other guys missing. You still got a guy like Zachary Vega, he's huge. I mean, six foot, I mean, a huge player for them. Huge impact he makes. Huge, yeah, huge impact. The rebound, he's been all over the board today. Holloway gets a steal, but I think they said, was it a foul or did oh, he, he step out of bounds? Oh, no, he, he got, got fouled. Oh, he got fouled. And that's going to be the 17th foul, so he'll be going to the line. I like Finn Holloway. I like the game that he's been having. He's been much more controlled today, much more poised. You know, he's not he's not taking errant shots. He's picking his spots when it comes to these shots. And then he's uh, much more efficient from the from the field shooting. Yeah, he's been a team player too. He's got five assists along with 15 points in the game. Yeah. Didn't seem like last game he was taking like wild shots. He just wasn't, he was just erratic. Yeah, taking wild shots, hard passes. Yeah. He was throwing the ball out of bounds, turning the ball over. He was a turnover machine the last game we've seen him at home. This, this game has just been much more, much more polished. Yeah, he's looking like a guy who's been playing with his team for a while now. Yeah, and like I said, Coach Rob D said that this guy is going to be one of the um, one of the key contributors, one of the key players going forward once he once he got back. And looks like that may be the case. The floater is good by Edward. Boy, has he been huge for Massasoit. He's kept him in the game. There's Vega at the wing. Back out to Holloway. And Holloway looks like he just looks much more control of the team as the team's point guard. And I gave him a lot of help. Espinel for three. No good. I kind of tore him apart last game. Talking about Alexander Holloway. <laughs> Yeah, it was his uh, Bayhawks debut again. You were saying it was definitely le uh, less than stellar. But definitely this game, he's really turned that around. Definitely he's been has. one of the star players so far this game. Definitely has. Definitely, definitely has. Right, right, right off the gate, too. And he's done, um, he's, he's done a lot. Open guy, moving well without the basketball. Taking better selection of shots. Yeah, he hasn't really shot anything from beyond the arc, but his mid-range game and his and uh, just putting up layups, he's been doing very good at that. Exactly, deep three, it's good. And now from speaking of which, Zachary <laughs> Vega becoming a three-point shooter now. Yeah, exactly, Vega for three. Something about the haircut. <laughs> that, that's a miss by Massasoya. Holloway, oh, shuffling and duffling. Green going up with it, no good. Green having a tough night. Bellazos, oh, kick it back out. There's a three, handy. It's good. And that's a key three-pointer. They needed that one to that's cut the lead to within single digits. That was a good sequence from Massasoit getting it to handy, putting up for three. 
They needed that. That was make or break on that one. That's a huge three. Keeps it to within single digits. And a little bit over four minutes left to play. So BCC with a nine point lead. BCC looking to end a little bit of a look losing streak, it looks like. BCC came into the um, second half of the season at 11 and 1. And um, they lost to Sullivan Community College from New York last Thursday in our first home game, our first telecast. Um, after the new year and the first game after the new year and looks like BCC lost two games over the weekend They're 11 and 4 now uh, they, they play in the they play in the CCRI Invitational and they, they played two non-conference games and they lost both of those games and uh, BCC looking to get back into the win column here today Craig, you know my like uh, my new uh, <laughs> favorite person is right now is, is Tony Romo Tony Romo Tony Romo is pretty great I love that guy did you watch the game? I was, you watched the Patriots game on, uh, obviously. Did you watch the... Uh, I saw the Patriots game, around? yeah. Did you hear when they were talking about uh, the passing of Pete Jackson? Long-term, long-time announcer, legendary announcer. Yeah. And Jim Nance was going into, like, a soliloquy of, like, you know, we lost one of the greats, and we lost Dick Enberg a few weeks prior, and, you know, they had, like, the... Um, they had, like, the, uh, the depressing music in the background, and Jim Nance is going on this long tangent, and how sad of a time it was and then there's this awkward pause in between and Tony Romo's like time flies yeah <laughs> I was like this guy, I was like okay I was dying I'm like, this guy, I'm like you said all that I'm expecting him to like have his two cents and he says time just, flies that's all he had to say <laughs> <laughs> he makes the game much more entertaining for me Espinol from the elbow drains it home big shot there by Espinol who's been lost in the shuffle during this game, but that was a big shot there to give his team an 11-point lead. Cross-court pass. Handy, oh, nice pass. Somehow got it in between the defenders of Vega and Coban, and Monroe lays that in, number 34, the big man. Yeah, just out of the outstretched reach of Zachary Vega. Couldn't really do anything about it. He came this close to getting it. A nice time as he passed. Green. Back out to Vega. Gets it knocked away by Mark Georgian. 3 6 to play, 9 point lead. And BCC is going to inbound it with 6 seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, Warriors need to play with more defensive urgency. They need to stop BCC here. Espinal for 3, no good. Vega mistimed his jump there. And Georgian comes away with it. Keep possession for the Warriors. They need to score. Trailing by nine. Three possession game. Bellasol for three. No good. Monroe with an athletic rebound. Saving it for the Warriors. Going to the right. Oh, he drops the ball. That is a miracle shot. Wow. Talk about making something out of nothing. Do you believe in miracles? No, not that point. <laughs> Down by seven still. Mark George is looking to complete the uh, three point play here the hard way. Yeah, more of a miracle is in. I don't know how it went in. I don't know how it went in. Leaping, falling. Tipping, tumbling. <laughs> all the adjectives. This looks all, yeah, this looks all kinds of distorted. And yeah, and now just like that, it's a two-position game. A lot of time here. BCC needs to play within itself and play, have an efficient possession right here. Here's Holloway. Holloway pulls up to his spot. Looked like he got, thought he might have gotten smacked in the wrist there. No foul. And Massasoit has the basketball with a chance to cut it to the lead a little bit more. Andy gets it in the corner to Bellazo. BCC in the zone. We're used to seeing them in man to man. 13 on the shot clock. Handy. Got about three. Goes into the lane. Swoops it up and in. How about three plays by the Warriors? BCC needs to be careful. Four point lead. The pressure is on. Timeout number four. Coach, get a, get a timeout, Coach D. 81 to 77. BCC had a nine point lead and has cut to four with a minute 49. They have the basketball. Both teams. In the bonus, 
Don't go away yet. This game is far from over. 81 to 77. As we're broadcasting here from Bishop Conley High School, La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Battle of Route 24, our first meeting between these two teams of the season. And again, Massasoit, no slouch, 9 and 4 this year. BCC has yet to lose in Region 21. So this, this would be their first loss if they were to lose, but they got the lead right now. Timeout. Coach Del Lou rallying the troops. And um, well, I think one reason right now for the record right now is uh, Coach Del Lou has scheduled a lot of teams non schedule wise that will, uh, he knows, will get BCC fist. And there's a turnover by Vega. Coming up, Georgian. Georgian to the basket gets fouled. And a chance to cut this lead to within two. Wow. Zachary Vega finding himself in foul trouble. Four on the game. And Josh Winbush is on the end of the bench right now. And Josh Winbush was making a huge difference. And now his injury has had him on the bench for the last few minutes. And actually, just as I say, here comes Mr. Winbush. Wimbush will come into the game right now, and he'll come in for Co Coban. Coban delivering some key minutes. Hard-nosed player. Coban comes out of the game from Istanbul, Turkey. Second free throw is good. It is a two-point lead. Massasoit hasn't been this close since uh, the beginning of the first half. Second half, I'm sorry. When they had the lead, they were up 41-38 to 38 at the half. BCC went on a 13-0 run, and that ball's knocked away. And Massasoit has all the momentum in the world. They trail by only two. BCC has the lead, but a minute and 20 seconds. It has to feel like 20 minutes and 20 seconds right now. Mass Massasoit has been the team that just will not go away. Whenever BCC thinks they have a comfortable lead, Massasoit just comes right back. BCC has to withstand the storm right now. Winbush, oh, that's a fantastic sign. Going back the other way. Going to the hoop. Monroe is there, lays it in, it's tied. It is tie game, it's 81 to 81. And just like that. Now there's a less than a minute to play in this game. And Massasoit, yeah. And Massasoit has all the momentum. Almost got a, a steal, steal, almost got a steal, they did. Mass Oh no, 35 seconds left in regulation time. Andy's gonna try to hold it. And they have a chance to take the lead right now. They do. They have a chance to steal one here in Fall River. That's a three-pointer by Handy. No good. Three by by Vega. They got 10 oh, no, seconds, they gotta be smart. Go into the hole, laid it up and in. And that's huge. Two point lead. Matt Sawyer will get the call the timeout. And that was a nice take to the basket. A big time play by Alexander Holloway. A big time pass from Josh Wimbush. Well, Massasoit is going to go. They, they, I have a feeling they're going to go for the win right here. They got guys that like to shoot it. But then again, they got guys that can slash to the basket too and draw a foul. Yeah, you either play to win or you play for overtime. What do you do here? I think you play for overtime. Yeah? Yeah, I honestly think that that's their best, better bet right now. I don't know. Right now they have all the momentum. They do, but this is all, they're at the point now the game is really going to come down to one play. Right, but do you want um, do you want to play BCC in overtime? I mean, obviously you'll take overtime right now. You've been trailing the whole second half. But you go to overtime, I think BCC regroups. Coach Del Lou gets their head out of their butts. And, uh, 
try to pull this one out, but yeah. Maybe, but they have been doing good in the second half without where BCC, for the most part, hasn't had Josh Wimbush. He makes that huge difference, and he's definitely not playing 100% now, and that's really when the Warriors started making their comeback. And exactly, and, and, and Wimbush, he's shown that he'll go for the block, or he'll go right at him, and he'll draw the foul. I and mean, they'll draw the foul. Those guys, they're guards, Rolski Eduard, Mark Georges, and, um, and also their guys that come off the bench, Rayel Handy, you know, these guys, Jared Costa Hayward, they do a great job of slashing to the basket and making things happen at the basket. That, that, that three guard backcourt there with George's handy and Edward, they're dynamite, man. to go and BCC escapes with one. Because they almost didn't deserve it. BCC escapes by the skin of their teeth. Massasoit had a chance to tie the game, had a chance to possibly win the game on that possession. They decide to go to the basket. They get exactly what I think you would want. They go right at the basket. They get a miss. Monroe, the big man, had a chance to get the put back, had a clear look at it. Looked like it was gonna fall, but it falls just short. And that's Sawyer falls just short. So BCC gets on back on the winning track here in the second half of the season. And um, BCC, after starting the second half down 41 to 38, goes on a 13-0 run to come out the gate and, and had the game, you know, had control of the game until the last three or four minutes where the Warriors are storm back, tie the game within the last couple minutes. How you doing? And um, <laughs> The, way, the Warriors were just resilient. They would not go away. They tie the game. Um, they tie the game with, with about 15 seconds left to play uh, to make it 81 to 81. And then it was a Zachary Vega that went down and drove the lane and laid it in. Uh, that was Alexander Holloway. Alexander in. Holloway. So speaking of Alexander Holloway, is he our BCC player of the game? Uh, it's going to be between either him or, it's a, or Zachary Vega. Zachary Vega had 23 points, 10 rebounds in the game. Did very well from outside, went three for four from the three-point line. Alexander Holloway on the other end. On the other hand, he had 19 points and six assists and had that clutch layup at the and very end. Basket, so you want to give, we'll give it to Alexander give it Holloway. To him. Alexander Holloway, um, after struggling in his first game as a, uh, as a Bristol Community College uh, Bayhawk in our, in our first game uh, back here in the second half, struggled last week. But uh, what a game by him today, the floor general, really playing within himself and um, – you know, picking a spot, you know, nice dishes, nice assists, you know, and really was in control of the team tonight, and he had the final basket there. So Alexander Holloway is our Bayhawk player of the game. I want to thank everybody for watching here on FR Media, um, Channel 95, or Comcasting a Dial. Look forward to many more of these uh, Bayhawk contests. As the Bayhawks roll here, they're 12 and 4 now, 83 to 81. BCC are the victors, and be stay, stay tuned for more BCC action. Um, here in the future. So for myself, uh, Dave Cardozo alongside me is the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy with the great Lucy Cabral. I want to thank everybody for watching and stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball in the future. Good night, everybody from Fall River.